Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at some potential returning characters from Rogue One joining the Cassian Endor Disney Plus series. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding Star Wars Coffee for the first time, be sure to always hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to check out Star Wars Coffee on Twitter and Twitch, and don't forget to check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise. Links are in the description below. Do it! And now let's go to a galaxy far, far away. This is the way. Since the Cassian Endor Disney Plus series was announced, it seems to be the least anticipated by fans in the Star Wars community, mainly because of the fact that there is the Mandalorian that it's rivaling, as well as the Kenobi series that's also there, and the fact that the Clone Wars and the Lucasfilm animated series have a very, very strong following as well. So that just leaves this Cassian Endor series kind of on the bubble if this was rather a network television show. However, Diego Luna is helming the project returning as Cassian Endor, and in this article we're going to take a look at today, Neil Scanlon discusses bringing previously unused characters into the Cassian Endor series. This is from Star Wars Newsnet's Tim Levers. The Cassian Endor series has long sat on the fringes of fan excitement and expectations for the future of Star Wars content. This is true, this is what I was just talking about in my little opening monologue. It seems that the Cassian Endor series really is kind of just under the wire here, kind of under under anticipated in, in many regards. And I hope that once it comes out, the fact that it's a spy thriller will kind of bring more fans into it and engage with it in a stronger sense. Continuing on, although it was announced over a year ago, it has been eclipsed by the hype around bigger ticket items like Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars. Even though it hasn't often been front of mind for Star Wars fans, the work has continued. MovieWeb recently got a chance to interview Neil Scanlon from the home release of The Rise of Skywalker, and he has become a consistent presence on the visual effects side throughout the Disney era, and continues that work on the new Cassian Endor series. During the interview, he mentioned the interesting opportunity in working on the Disney Plus series of the franchise to bring the characters and creatures that might have been cut from previous films or shows. Reading now from MovieWeb, quote, What is fun about this is in many ways, I don't feel that it's different than working on a movie. It certainly doesn't feel like we're making any compromises. It's the same creative conditions in every department to do what we can do. We also have this backlog of characters. A lot of the characters that we built for all the films either didn't make it into the final cut, because that's just the way the film process happens to be, or they are seen momentarily that there is this wonderful second opportunity to bring back some of the characters that we've made and bring them to this new storyline in a more, shall we say, integrated way. I think it's going to be tremendous. I find that it's a second opportunity for everything that we've made, plus the opportunity of moving TV along, in a sense, at what will not at all be diminished as far as the level of quality, the level of things that we are going to try and achieve. For all of us who have followed production on the various films, read the various art of Star Wars books, it is exciting to think that maybe some of these concepts and characters that we never get to see on screen might show up in future productions. Unfortunately, Neil didn't give any hints at what those might be in this interview, but IGN has mentioned a desire to get on the eye of the webbish bog on at some point. So with that being said, the Cassian Andor series could include another cut characters, this report coming from IGN. He talks about the same movie web interview, suggesting that Cassian could potentially be joined by previously characters from the universe, and especially Rogue One. The only thing that IGN contributes that we didn't read on Star Wars Newsnet is their speculation and quote, While Scanlan didn't divulge details about what characters might appear in the script of the new series, he previously shared his desire to repurpose characters that have not been given significant screen time. In particular, he would like to see the Eye of the Webbish Bog cut from the Rise of Skywalker, introduced in a future adventure in a galaxy far, far away. And what this is referring to is um, Kylo Ren on Exegol. This is essentially the character of the Oracle, which you can see in my extended scene of Kylo Ren on Mustafar in the Rise of Skywalker. You can go search the channel for that. That's there. 
Um, essentially, it's just the Oracle who is on Mustafar and continues to kind of lead Kylo toward the Wayfinder that he's looking to find. So this would actually be a very interesting integration because then this would enroll the character, backroll the character in a sense, since the Cassian Endor series takes place during the original trilogy era. So this would then give that character a presence in terms of canon well before the Rise of Skywalker. And you can still read about the Oracle character in the Rise of Skywalker as it is included in the novelization of the Rise of Skywalker, which I highly recommend. Excellent book. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. May God bless you and the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.